and welcome to the daily cricket show cricket happenings and on this cricket happening show uh, i'm going to talk about india who absolutely made mince meat uh, of the sri lankan bowling in the first one day international where they went on to pick up a nine wicket victory to start off the odi series with a bang as uh, now the now it, they they are leading 1-0 they got one zip in the series and uh, sri lanka as you know required two more there are two more matches that they require two matches that they require to win for automatic qualification so that would have come as a, a sort of a big uh, setback for them as uh, india had it absolutely easy with shikhar dhawan uh, the opener going on to slam a century of 71 balls um you know you know bettering is a previous mark so basically this was the fastest century by shikhar dhawan for himself in his career and he went on to make 132 marvelous runs virat kohli chipped in with 82 not out so a very crushing victory for india in the first one day international and also we'll have a look at some cricket news that's coming in and bangladesh uh, sprang another surprise yesterday i was talking about a uh, mominul haq not being selected and today mominul haq has been drafted into the team so i'll be talking about that and we also have some lot of cricket news to cover but first we are heading to dambula uh, what a wonderful uh, cricket uh, ground it was uh, dambula pitch the dambula pitch uh, as you know there, there was lots of runs uh, in store no doubt about it and uh, also the dambula ground was looking a pictures ground no doubt about it so let's talk about the game so the indian captain virat kohli had the luck with the toss and he decided that he would insert the host sri lanka to bat first it all started off with uh, as i said uh, this is a very good opening pair of nirosh and dikwala and gunatilaka also let me tell you uh, they were they were sailing in such a, um, uh, uh, sailing in such a serene fashion that they were 139 for one uh, at one stage and then and probably one was eyeing a 300 score from sri lanka and then comes the spectacular collapse where nine wickets were lost for 77 and the sri lankan innings ground to a halt at 216 so let's have a look at so nirshan dikwala and gunatilaka were the ones who opened the innings and for india the bowlers were bhuvneshwar kumar and hardik pandya yes it was not uh, easy the ball was nicely coming on to the bat so the strokes were just flowing from both as far as mahesh uh, danishka gunatilaka was concerned uh, he was a bit sedate i would say but on the other hand niroshan dikwala uh, was uh, really moving around very well in fact uh, the the uh, what he was doing was as you know i have always said that niroshan dikwala is a very unorthodox player and you know he can get runs from anywhere especially he favors the on side as uh, he started uh, um, uh, river sweeping the spinners and uh, what he does best is he starts uh, moving in the crease he keeps on moving the crease to just put a doubt in the bowler's mind and every time he moves he actually uh, goes on to the off stump shuffles on to the off stump and even if the ball is on the off stump he manages to actually um, you know play it through the on side uh, which is a sort of a speciality in roshan dikwala i thought and um, danishko gunatilaka uh, was mostly a passive partner but nevertheless he was also accumulating runs as the score uh, uh, slowly moved on and uh, before realizing <coughs> even though jaspreet bumrah bowled a good over uh, and uh, it was uh, it was not good going for india as 74 runs were realized uh, in the four, in 14 overs by the opening pair of niroshan dikwala and danishka gunatilaka and then finally it was the spinners Uh, who did the trick the pace bowlers bumra pandya and um, uh, bumra pandya and bhuvneshwar kumar could not make much of an impression on a very good batting pitch but when the spinners were on uh, the things uh, started uh, really moving for india and uh, the score uh, still uh, with kushal mendis coming in uh, that we saw that was some nice stroke making going on uh, by, by kushal mendis kushal mendis is a free uh, flowing um, a uh, stroker of the ball and that's what he's precisely doing at the other nirshan dikwala was doing a good job and this partnership uh, was uh, doing a fine job from 74 for one the 14th over uh, there were more runs to come another partnership started uh, a very useful partnership at that of 66 runs to just keep up the momentum going as they were doing that 
the Indian spinners uh, were the ones who started uh, uh, getting into the mix. And uh, from 139, the score had reached 139 when Deepak Jadav, as you know, Deepak Jadav is uh, such a bowler. Uh, he's, he's a very short, uh, short, uh, short guy. And what he does is that uh, he bowls the ball very flat and also he's very slower through the air. So thus, uh, you know, he could easily tempt the batsman uh, into rashness. And there was one precise delivery that he bowled to uh, Niroshan Dikwala, and Niroshan Dikwala fell a victim as he was LBW bowled Jadav for 64 of 74 balls. And that was the, um, and that was the, uh, in fact, that was not the first wicket. In fact, Gunatilaka was the first to be dismissed when he tried to reverse sweep a delivery uh, from Chahal. And the ball actually um, took this splice and flew to the cover region where Rahul was taken by surprise in the cover region but uh, he took the catch. So Gunatilaka was gone for 35, 44 balls with 4 4, that was 74 for 1 and 139 for 2 when Niroshan Dikwala was at just LBW Bowl Jadav for 64 of 74 deliveries, 8 4s. Kushal Mendes was there in the crease, he joined Bupal Taranga and then we saw a double spin attack being employed with Akshar Patel uh, into the mix. And what a delivery from Akshar Patel. Now this is the speciality of Akshar Patel. He can slip in the quicker one uh, at some very good pace. And you know, normally the spinners have a quicker one, but Akshar Patel has something which really fizzes off at a great pace uh, because it was clocked at 104 kph when he bowled that delivery. And that delivery, uh, that particular delivery with uh, Akshar Patel was bowling, uh, Kushal Bendis was uh, coming down the crease. He was coming down the um, wicket to actually uh, drive uh, Patel and in the process uh, he missed it and uh, Kushal Mendes stumps were shattered but Kushal, as I said the ball was too quick for Kushal Mendes and Kushal Mendes had his uh, timber rattled uh, by Patel for 36 of 37 deliveries five fours after so that made it uh, three wickets down from 139 as I said they were at 139 at the halfway mark uh, one would have definitely expected Sri Lanka to go and make uh, two or three hundred runs. But after Nirshan Dikwala, it was the turn of Kushal Mendes to go as they, with the score 150 in the 28th over. And after that, it was pretty tough going. Barring Angelo Matthews, um, the former captain who stayed there uh, like a rock and tried to uh, nurture the innings along. But the problem for Angelo Matthews, there was no um, support forthcoming from the other end. Uh, next to go was Taranga, caught by Davan of the bowling of Jadav for 13 uh, with uh, no boundary, 13 of 23 deliveries. Uh, the next to go, Kapil Gadra, who was the stabilizing force, unfortunately, was run out by a beautiful piece of fielding by Virat Kohli. He was gone for one, run out for one. Uh, after that, uh, Hasaranga De Silva, uh, the uh, uh, De Silva who was playing, uh, was uh, gone for just two runs. He was caught by Jadav of the bowling of Patel. And then Bumra came in. Uh, and clean bowl Tishara Pereira for a knot. Uh, Sandakan knew nothing about the delivery from Akshar Patel, which actually pitched on the middle stump. And Sandakan um, uh, probably uh, playing, uh, probably uh, thinking that the ball is going to come straight in. Uh, he was uh, right in line in front of the stumps. He was gone. LBW will bowl Patel for five. Um, Malinga tried to get a heave ho at the bowling of Zendra Chahal and paid the penalty as Dhoni stumped him for eight with one six. Fernando was uh, castled by Bumra for not to bring an innings, uh, bring this uh, Sri Lankan innings to an end. And it was all watched by Angelo Matthews, the former skipper at the non-strikers end, just watching uh, the, the, uh, the Sri Lankan uh, innings tumble like nine pins as Angelo Matthews remained not out on 36 or 50 dollars, one four and one six. And the Sri Lankan innings ground to a halt at 216. So well done the Indian bowlers, especially it was Deepak Jadav, uh, and Akshar Patel, who did a fantastic job with the ball. Bhuvaneshwar Kumar, 6 overs, none for 33. Hardik Pandya, 6 overs, none for 35. Uh, Jaspreet Bumbra, 6.2 overs, no maiden, 2 for 22. Zendra Chahal was a bit costly. Kenna was 2 for 60. Uh, Jadav, 5 overs, 2 for 26. And Akshar Patel bowled 10 overs, no maiden. A picture of economy, 3 for 34 of his 10 overs. Akshar Patel did a fine job. Now, the Indian inning started. And as far as the Indian innings was concerned, uh, in the Indian innings, um, it all started off uh, with, uh, as I said, this was a perfect batting pitch. Now, barring Rohit Sharma, uh, who was uh, sent, uh, who was out, uh, run out, uh, Shikhar Dhawan had already started. Uh, Shikhar Dhawan, uh, as soon as India started the reply, 
Shikhar Dhawan was in his element. He was stroking the ball freely and fluently. Uh, Malinga and Fernando were not having any effect on him. And he was the one who had got India off to a, 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 just the start that they needed. Uh, as uh, 23 runs were added for the first wicket in the four overs with uh, most of the runs scored by Dhawan. But Rohit Sharma was uh, run out. Now this was uh, a very unfortunate for Rohit Sharma who actually uh, dropped his bat and um, he could not actually regain the crease. He was run out by Kapagadra for four. Uh, and uh, as I said, this was a perfect batting pitch. It was only a matter of you staying there uh, and starting to really um, uh, sight the ball in a nice manner and things get going. And Shikhar Dhawan uh, was and Virat Kohli joined hands and then the problems for the Sri Lankan bowlers started uh, absolutely with Shikhar Dhawan looking very, very good in his stroke making. Uh, he was uh, cutting um, beautifully. He was um, pulling the short balls well. He was also playing the river sweep against the spinners. And he was also driving magnificently as uh, things were just uh, flowing from the bat of Shikhar Dhawan. At the other end, Virat Kohli uh, just took his time. And then finally, Virat Kohli started playing only in the way, as I said, it's a perfect batting pitch. Uh, there was nothing to really worry about. It's just a matter of getting in there. And Virat Kohli uh, really put his head in and then slowly started flowing like Shikhar Dhawan. As uh, Shikhar Dhawan also lofted some beautiful sixes. Uh, he, 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 there was one shot of uh, Shikhar Dhawan which really went like a tracer bullet. Uh, that was, I think it was the, uh, the bowler was, I think, Sandakan. And the ball was uh, probably pitched on the off and middle stump. It was a bit short and Shikhar Dhawan, uh, in a blaze, I would say, just swung the bat and the ball sailed high and handsome uh, into the stands for a, a wonderful six. And Shikhar Dhawan was looking superb in his knock. And from 22 for 23 for 1, it was a massive stand that the second wicket put, the winning stand, I would say. Without Kohli was also, as you know, he drives impeccably well. He was doing that and he was also nicely turning the ball around into the on side dropping his wrist well and uh, you know not uh, uh, not letting go any loose opportunity that was uh, offered to him and the ballers could not have this is a batting pitch and india showed why sri lanka uh, why uh, this particular pitch uh, was a good pitch uh, by batting in the way that only india can let's say malinga eight overs uh, went for 52 runs Vishwa Fernando was all over the place. Six overs were carted for 43. Angelo Matthews bowled only two overs in which he gave away nine runs. So, and Tisra Pereira, two overs cost him 18. Sandakan uh, was hammered for 63 of his six overs. Hassan de Silva, the leg spinner, 4.5 overs, no maiden none for 35. And Shikhar Dhawan, as I said, uh, went on to make a century in just 71 deliveries. And this was his fastest century. Uh, bettering the previous one probably took uh, 76 balls, I reckon, or 73, whatever the case may be. Shikhar Dhawan was into his element, and after his century, he was still. And look at that knock of Shikhar Dhawan. I mean, he was not out on 130. He was the one who brought up the winning hit for India uh, by uh, by cracking an unbeaten 132 of just 90 deliveries, 24s and 36s. Virat Kohli was not out on a pristine 82 of just 70 deliveries, 10 fours and 1 six. And one knows uh, that there are no prices for guessing. Shikhar Dhawan was the man of the match. And also, it was Vishwa Fernando who was actually making his one day international debut. The Rangiri Dambulu International Stadium um, was a picturesque ground, but I thought the, the, uh, the fans would have been absolutely disappointed. I think one would have to put the blame on the Sri Lankans for not putting up a good score on the board, even though, as I said, they were careening along at 139 for one uh, and then to collapse to 216 uh, was something which was not done. And India showed what a good batting pitch this was. So, uh, so Sri Lanka, have all, uh, they lost the first, they still have another four one-day internationals now. And in the balance, four one-day internationals, they would win two of them. Uh, if at all, uh, they have to make the cut to the, uh, make the automatic cut uh, to the World Cup 2019. Now, looking at some, now from here we move on to some cricket news. Is that there's a lot of cricket news to cover today. It will be a real skimmer. Yesterday we were talking about uh, Mominul Hassan being left out of the Bangladesh Test squad. Um, uh, well, uh, that was probably there was a discussion. And Mominul, I'm very happy to see that Mominul has been drafted back to the Bangladesh Test squad. Uh, the only reason he has come in, I'm told, 
is that uh, Mossadegh Hussein, the all-rounder, has been suffering some from eye infection. And I think this is the right choice because I think Mominul uh, is a very talented bloke and I'm very happy to see that Mominul is back. And I'm sure Bangladeshi fans would also be happy that uh, Mominul Hassan, Mominul Haq, has actually made, uh, made it to the uh, Bangladesh team. So it is, uh, the onus will be on Mominul Haq probably in the first test match against Australia to really show that why he's such a valuable uh, cog uh, in, in Bangladesh scheme of things. Uh, as you know, the Afghanistan, this news coming from Afghanistan, as you know, the Indian coach, it was Larchan Rajput was the coach of the uh, Afghanistan team. And uh, well, the Afghanistan cricket board, uh, has been, uh, he was appointed in June last year. And uh, with the help of Larchan Rajput as coach, uh, the um, uh, Afghanistan became full ICC members as they were also given test status, as you would remember. And uh, um, uh, Larchan Rajput was told that his uh, term would be coming to an end in the end of August 2017. Uh, the former uh, uh, Mumbai opener and India player Larchan Rajput and also has been a coach for a lot of uh, India A teams and under 19 teams I reckon. And the other cricket news that I would like to talk about uh, dear fans and subscribers, uh, West Indies already as I said uh, they are really going through the horrors here after uh, being given a real pelting by England in the first test match where they lost the day night test match inside of three days and now more problems for the uh, West Indies unfortunately with Craig Brathwaite who is normally the batsman but he also bowls his uh, right arm uh, spin I suppose Craig Brathwaite and he has been reported for suspect action uh, by the ICC and that is not good news uh, as uh, this is really really uh, adding to their problems. Uh, well, dear fans and subscribers, and one thing that I can say here, uh, this is an update coming in from the Caribbean Premier League uh, 2017, and as you would remember, St. Lucia Stars, who have not won a single game uh, against uh, in this uh, CPL 2017, they were led by Darren Sammy, uh, St. Lucia Stars made a change uh, by getting Shane Watson as the skipper, by replacing him with uh, Shane Watson, uh, replacing Darren Sammy as skipper and yesterday there was a match which was played between St. Lucia Stars and the STKNP, the Patriots and I have to say just because of rain with uh, the Lucia Stars were 46 for 1 after 8.1 overs and this 18th match was called off due to rain it was decided the Duckworth Lewis method even though it was a no result it meant that St. Lucia Stars uh, were, uh, were out of the competition I mean uh, they secure oh sorry I'm, i i do apologize so in fact um, i i i really uh, was going to say something uh, which was not correct and uh, uh, you know I'm, I'm 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 glad that i was corrected very quickly so this particular clash between St. Pitts and nevis patriots and st lucia stars um, really brought some luck for them as uh, st lucia stars collected their first ever points uh, in the caribbean premier league 2017 and what a great relief for them after collecting their first point, just because it was a washout, uh, they were given, it was no result match, and they secured, at least got one point. So at least they would be breathing a bit free now, uh, that at least they could collect one point, uh, even though it was by the uh, Duckworth Lewis method. Well, dear fans and subscribers, uh, it was uh, a nice, um, nice, exciting cricket broadcast that I brought you through. And as I said, Sri Lanka will be under real pressure now in the uh, balance uh, for one day international they have to get their best foot forward uh, before uh, it becomes too late because their primary goal now out of the four one day internationals they have to go and win two one day internationals and uh, they would be hoping that they could put it across india in the second one day international uh, but they definitely have to play much better uh, than what they did here in rangiri dambula well, dear fans and subscribers, it was a uh, real pleasure to bring this cricket broadcast today uh, to you all uh, and share it with you. And I hope you all enjoyed it. And I'll be seeing you once again tomorrow on my next Cricket Happening show. Until then, uh, it's, it's your host Ram signing off this on a Sunday.